Alrighty. Can you hear me all right, chat? Not sure who's all here. I think there's one person at least. So today I'm going to be working on kind of a personal website, um, updating some of the stuff that I already have. Um, if you can hear me chat, shoot me a message so I can make sure that's all working. this is my current website um, it's fairly lightweight there's not a whole lot on it um, just a little bit of information I am gonna be tr trying to build out this on um, glitch because I really like them uh, I currently have my blog hosted on glitch um, which doesn't really have anything on it but um, yeah let me turn the light on here so I can get some better. There we go. Okay. That's really bright now. There we go. Um, all right. So, yeah. Some of the sites that I really liked um, found the Mango Zone. It's a security researcher guy uh, that works for Atlassian. It's a pretty cool site. Um, but, yeah, I liked these... Uh, just kind of the whole thing going on here. Just kind of a fun, you know, bright colors, some nice stuff like that. Um, and then also the Super Team Deluxe website is fantastic. Um, this is uh, Raji, who's a designer um, and kind of a developer and stuff. He's he's pretty awesome. Um, I love his website as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna also be looking on uh, that. What does it say? I can't think of it right now. Oh, awards. Yeah. Yeah. So just on here, let's see. Awards is a little more uh, fancy than what I normally would go for. Um, it's very startup-y on a lot of the sites, which isn't bad, it's just not the aesthetic I'm kind of going for here. Um, this one's not bad. Um, some stuff like this. Just, you know, bright, light colors. Some good stuff. Um, not sure if anybody's in chat right now, but if you are and you have questions, feel free to post at any point. Um, I will be looking at the chat log. 
also going to send out another tweet about this. So yeah, uh, I think to just get started, I'm going to just kind of lay out some of the information that I've got. Uh, this is all really old. I might try to copy some of my stuff from my Twitter bio. That's Twitch. You can watch me watch my stuff. Oops. some of this okay so I think to start with I'm just gonna make a new file and call it like layout MD this is just kind of a quick you know markdown site hi how's it going uh, Kaderamon is that right We'll also uh, load up Neo Cities just to see if there's any fun stuff to pull from there. Gotta love Neo Cities. Cool. Well, welcome. I am very excited that you're here. If you have any questions uh, about JavaScript or anything, let me know. Um, I'll be answering stuff kind of as I go, um, and just working on a personal website. <coughs> All right. So. Maybe we'll take like a look at uh, designer news as well. See if there's anything good on there. Um, is pretty good. I like their animations and stuff. Um, okay, so I guess I'll probably just get started with some code. Let's go ahead and load this up. Currently not much there. Um, first things first, I want to get rid of the margin on the body. Let's find some fonts. So fonts.google.com. something kind of bubbly, kind of more fun. This one might be interesting, Titan one.
Yeah, I like this. Let's see. Select this font. Do it as an import. Um, up here. want it on everything so let's put that on h1 I have not worked with Koa um, I can take a, I'll take a look at that though um, uh, is that the the routing framework yeah, uh, the middleware stuff. Um, yeah, this is built by the uh, the same people that did this Express early on. Um, I've worked actually have worked with it just a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, if you have questions about that though, we can dig into them and see if we can answer them. So grab some colors here. Oh, that's not going to be the right website. I'm thinking maybe a nice yellow color. A bit brighter there, like that. Spacing. Gotcha. Um, I really like GraphQL as kind of a theory. Um, I have found in the past that it's kind of a little hard to, to implement. It can be. Um, just really depends on you know what you're using as your back end. Um, we actually considered reusing or using GraphQL uh, at work uh, recently and. After some discussion, it, it made just more sense to stick with the traditional kind of fetch JSON API background uh, app. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really interested to see where GraphQL goes um, in the near future. If, if it were a little easier to set up and worked with a few more um, languages, um, and this, this might exist, I haven't done a ton of research into it, I think I would be a little more interested in it. Um, it's very interesting. I saw somebody compare it to uh, SOAP for JSON, um, which is kind of cool. SOAP is a, I don't know how what the, the skill level of the people in the chat are, but SOAP is an older um, XML-based messaging protocol. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, you can you can see here. You, you used to just kind of request things, uh, a very structured format, um, you know, and this is like early 2000s um, so you'd get this kind of really interesting structured format uh, to your requests um, and it's basically the same idea as GraphQL where the data that you're requesting is very very uh, similar to the data that you're you're getting back from the server um, so you can almost see here right this is you know envelope header body get stock price stock name is you know hero name height it's all very similar um, old ideas reused in cool ways um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that it's just very very interesting it's also very uh, typable which is cool um, so yeah I GraphQL is pretty interesting um, I haven't gotten a chance to really work with it a whole lot but it's something I definitely want to get to at some point maybe I'll do a live stream on that uh, at a later date
I'll actually be right back, chat. Um, yeah, that's that's true, Kaderamon. Um, XML is pretty terrible. It's it's very verbose. Um, but yeah, I will be right back. Give me two minutes. All right, sorry about that. My dog was in the background making a lot of noise and it was distracting me. I made her go sit with my girlfriend. All right, so um, yeah, keep asking questions, chat, whatever you, you've got. I'm just gonna keep working on this. I'm second guessing this font. bit heavy for what I'm looking for. Ubuntu might be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and save these. Poppins is a fun per font, kind of. Um, hmm. Are you really working with soap? That's, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, that can be terrible. Yeah, soap is, it's not fun. Um, yeah, that's crazy. something kind of completely different with that It'd be kind of interesting okay let's see what we got right, so I'm fairly certain I don't want to use Titan one go ahead and Ubuntu is not bad. I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit too. Um, it's a little better. We'll also give the body a little bit of padding. Decrease this letter spacing. Just get rid of it entirely. That's not bad. Um, I also wanted to try Barilla. That's a little better. I like that. I'm gonna give this a font size of, let's see, we'll do 32. We're gonna go for like an eight pixel grid um, on this site. So everything should be in uh, variations of eight times something. How did I get on Twitch? Uh, what do you mean?
Oh yeah, I mean Twitch still is. Um, it's just really good for live streaming. Like they're really good at it. Uh, they handle all the, the hard stuff, you know. Um, really good for live. Oh, I'm gonna accidentally pull up my page. Um, but the this IRL game is game is the one that I use. Um, and you can see it's just a bunch of people streaming uh, their real lives. And so there's some weird stuff on here, but there's a lot of people who use um, Twitch for, for live coding. If you search that, you can find tons of stuff. Um, oh, man, somebody's playing. Ah, uh, okay. Um, anyway, yeah, so, I mean, you can see um, some various, like, live coding things. Um, yeah, it's just a good platform for live streaming, um, and I like it, so. If I keep doing this and it uh, ends up being something that people are interested in, I can do a little bit more on um, how I have it, everything set up with my, my stream and everything. Um, it's not too difficult. Someday I'm going to spend a little more time working on it, but for now, it is what it is. Um, I actually need to change how this works a little bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give each one. Actually, we're going to do um, F. 32 F30 24 <laughs> Yeah. Good old Fortnite stream there. Um And I should probably do the uh the whole Oh yeah, yeah. Chromebooks for uh, development are going to be good. Um, the the ability to develop with, on the web with things like Glitch is is really cool. Um, it, it makes it a whole lot easier. I love this because I use my um, uh, my gaming PC to stream all this, um, just because it's the the best PC that I have in terms of recording and, and live streaming video and everything at the same time. But um, it'll be really interesting. Uh, I, I love Glitch because I don't have anything set up on this computer. It's a Windows computer, um, and so I use Linux for development at work. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty solid. Um, I have not heard of the Crosstini platform project. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Apparently, it's also a dish. Um, oh, cool! Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Yeah, that's really neat. Definitely, I'll have to keep an eye on that. That that's really um, really cool, interesting. Neat. Um. All right, so let's keep going here. I think I'm gonna use Fira Sands for my main. this website um, yeah that looks pretty good and we need to set the color to probably just white for now we'll go from there um, gotta style links real quick let's make links a uh, nice little red color There we go. That's kind of nice for now. Pretty simple. Um, man, Raji's site is just so cool. Where are you from, uh, Kadera Mom? His little animation on this is just so cool. Um, I think I'm also. I want to do some cool little animation, matey type thing. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and just toss in a. I. Was. 
if you weren't here earlier in the stream, um, this is my current website. I am currently working on making it look a little more fun, a little updated. Super Team is kind of my main inspiration, as well as Raji, the guy who works with the Super Team. And if you have any questions about anything JavaScript or career development or anything, uh, we're just having a nice little time talking. So feel free to ask them in the chat. So let's actually do a, like a really big font as well. Um, something like F. So actually, I'm going to set this back to font size 1EM. We'll do like an F64, which is just a 60. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we can just toss that class F64 on here. Get stuff going. Okay, there's like a nice big old high I'm was. <laughs> um, Also, get a class for uh, centering stuff. I'm going to call that um, text a center. Do a TA dash center. And then we can give this a div. Actually, we'll call it, we'll do, we'll try to be semantic here. We'll call this a section um, class. Center. There we go. So it's in the middle now. Um, I'm probably going to lighten the background up a bit. Maybe give it a color. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I think I might do a. Let me switch that a little bit. Um, so we're going to make the background this 333 three, three, and we're going to make the background like E5s. Um, I don't really know for sure, uh, Kaderamon. Uh, probably mostly like newer site, uh, newer browsers. I My site's not used by a lot of people. Um, I don't know for sure. It'll kind of depend on as how it works as I go. I like that color. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of nice. Um, okay. Actually, though, I'm going to make this. Uh, height. Give that like a 50 view height for now. That's kind of larger now. Um, I also want to grab the uh, CSS clip. See what this looks like. Oh, cool. So that's like a quote. Um, all right, I'm gonna just mess around with some of those real quick. Give this a background. I think I might try to keep this, uh, this fun little gradient that I've got on here. Um, 
I, CodePen is, is good. I used to use CodePen a lot. Um, the biggest thing is that I really love uh, glitches. Um, they're just their entire ecosystem. Uh, you can find my CodePen like on my current website. Um, it's just CodePen slash was. And I have a bunch of stuff on there um, that I've done. Uh, just with random things. I mean, these are kind of some of the bigger ones. But um, I used to answer like things on Quora sometimes and, and I would send links to these but um, yeah I, that's really the only reason is it's a little more community driven on Glitch um, and I really like the way that they're kind of working with things to uh, to make things work um, with sorry it, it, my, my words are not wonderful but uh, hopefully you get my point I like their community aspect of things Ah, this is exactly what I was looking for, this Clippy. So I want to... Do like a custom polygon. Well... That did not work at all. <laughs> ah, there we go. So I can edit this. That's good. Do something like that. Wonder. Is there a way to smooth out those paths? That's the only question. need a way to smooth those out thanks man good to see you thanks for coming on
you got on here? So it's just an SVG. Okay. That's interesting. How's it going, chat? CSS tools to use on here. It's, uh, oh well, let's go ahead and copy my background from here. And we'll we'll keep moving forward. There we go. Okay, so that's terrible. <laughs> But uh, we'll, we'll work on it. So I guess I'll go ahead and pull that one that I had. Too many things open. Let's go ahead and use this one for the clip path. Let's see if that's a little better. Okay, not bad. Um, I also want to get rid of the padding on this. Adding zero margin zero. How's that look? That's not bad. Um, is that the glitch button? It's causing an issue there. Odd. Uh, is this glitch button. Hmm. All right. I think I might actually call this uh, a little short today. Um, but I will be back next week. As always, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can find that down below in the Twitch settings. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to design out some, uh, some stuff for the site and then go from there. I need to do some actual design work and like sketch or something before I move on, but uh, we're getting there. Um, I mean, I've got this currently, so we'll make something cool and better. All right, have a good one. And thanks for watching.